ready start that does not mean that i dislike being a very important matter in our administration or education or culture i recognize that the language of the people is a vital matter for their development whether it is education administration or any other matter but there is a distinction between developing the language to the fullest extent and this passion for building up a wall around a linguistic area and calling it a border i completely accept the statement that people cannot really grow except through their language but it does not follow that in order to make them and their language grow a barrier must be erected between them and others the various language areas in india represent the development of history through the ages but drawing a hard and fast line between the two areas is i think carrying it too far as a matter of fact it just does not matter where you draw your line if you judge a border purely from the linguistic point of view you will be going against the wishes of many people invariably there are bilingual areas as long as you cannot prevent people of one state from going to another there will always be bilingual areas are you going to stop contrary to the dictates of the constitution the movement of workers or of other people from one state to another you cannot therefore whatever fixed line you may draw people on one side may be attracted to the other and move there and thus change the linguistic composition of the state or of the border area are we going to sit down every few years and say the language ratio of this particular tehsil or taluk has changed and therefore it should be taken out of the state and put into another you must realize that while there are clearly marked linguistic regions there are also bilingual areas and even trilingual areas between two such regions and wherever you may draw your line you do justice to one group and injustice to another from the language point of view good reason good logic and good argument can be found for each side of every case this is the difficulty if there was logic only on one side we could decide easily but there is logic on both sides and the two logics conflict and the same to be balanced you may balance them and say that one argument is stronger than the other but generally if the case of one side appears better the case of the other side seems pretty good too maps and census figures have become the fashion now are we to weigh in a balance how many individuals speak one language and how many speak another it will lead to all kinds of fantastic situations i submit that we must consider this matter separately from the question of language of course all the great languages of india which are mentioned in the constitution have to be developed i would go a step further and say that even those in the north east frontier area and elsewhere out to be developed further the development of one language should not be and cannot be at the expense of the other i am convinced that the development of any one of the great languages of india helps the development of the other languages 
इट इज माई प्रिविलेज हव एवर अनवर्दी आई मे बी ऑफ बींग द प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ द साहित्य अकादमी स्टार्टेड ए ईयर और टू अगो वेयर वी डील विथ ऑल द लैंग्वेजेस ऑफ इंडिया एंड ट्राई टू एनकरेज दैम द मोर वी डिस्कस दीज मैटर्स द मोर वी सी दैट इनकरेजमेंट डेवलपमेंट एंड ग्रोथ ऑफ वन लैंग्वेज रिजल्ट इन एडवांटेज टू द अदर इंडियन लैंग्वेजेस ऑल्सो गोविंग वन मोर स्टेप आई वुड से दैट द नॉलेज ऑफ ए फॉरन लैंग्वेज हेल्प्स द ग्रोथ ऑफ एन इंडियन लैंग्वेज इफ वी आर कट ऑफ फ्रॉम फॉरन लैंग्वेजेस वी आर कट ऑफ फ्रॉम द आइडियाज दैट आर कंटेंड इन दोज फॉरन लैंग्वेजेस एंड फ्रॉम टेक्नोलॉजी विच इज पार्ट ऑफ मॉडर्न लाइफ देर फॉर लेट अस नॉट थिंक ऑफ एक्सक्लूडिंग ए लैंग्वेज क्वाइट फ्रेंकली आई डो नॉट अंडरस्टैंड द वे सम पीपल आर अफ्रेड ऑफ द उर्दू लैंग्वेज आई एम प्राउड टू स्पीक उर्दू एंड आई होप टू कंटिन्यू टू स्पीक उर्दू आई जस्ट डो नॉट अंडरस्टैंड वाई इन एनी स्टेट इन इंडिया पीपल शुड कंसिडर उर्दू ए फॉरन लैंग्वेज और समथिंग विच इन्वेट्स देयर ओन डोमेन उर्दू इज अ लैंग्वेज मैंशनड इन आर कंस्टिट्यूशन I object to any narrow mindedness in regard to Urdu. It is no use dragging philology into these language controversies. Take the Punjabi language. We have heard learned arguments about the origin of Punjabi and the Gurumukhi script and how far it is connected with hindi and so on as if the source was of paramount significance what matters is what people do today let scholars go into the past of gurumukhi and hindi if people in the punjab or elsewhere wish to use it let them use stop